Hello friends, this is Sai, Sai Fanindra from SQL School. Over 15 years of technical expertise exclusively on database environment, Azure analytics and big data consulting activities. I assure you complete practical, real life, 100% hands-on training on the Azure Data Engineering course. Come on, let's get into the details about this beautiful vast Azure Data Engineering course. And here we go on my screen. Our course is into box 9 that you see here. Box number 9. And this Azure Data Engineering course is basically for about seven weeks training program that includes Azure Data Factory, ADF. It's mainly for data extraction, extracting the data from different different sources, perform mashup or transformation operations, and loading to any other destination, maybe within Azure. Or outside Azure environment. Azure is basically a cloud environment, a cloud platform to store any type of data, any amount of data, or applications, apps, or we can also perform certain data flow activities, including this ADF. And similar to ADF, we have Azure Data Bricks. Here as well, we can perform, we can perform the ETL extraction transformation loading activities for the purpose of analytics. ADF concentrate more on data loads, data bricks concentrate more on analytical operations. And we have Cosmos, a no SQL open source support for the document data systems. Generally, traditionally, database involves tables. Here, Cosmos involves files. It is just like a open source Hadoop, we call a open source Hadoop. Here we have Cosmos, a file system environment. And the similar file system available in Databricks as well. And we have Synapse Analytics, which is more into data warehouse, historical data store, and data lake storage, which is like a regular SAN or storage area network in non-cloud on-premise environment. We shall start our course from the very basics of Azure slowly go step by step completely loaded with examples and our complete examples would be based on the curriculum from microsoft website for dp200 201 examinations so this dp200 and 201 examinations involve certain technologies cosmos Azure SQL database, Synapse, and data storage or data lake storage, data factory, stream analytics, data bricks, and blob storage. All these are included in box number nine. And we need to have some basics on SQL Server TSQL queries to step into this box number nine, mandatory requirement. Here we go. The Azure SQL database and Azure Data Lake and Synapse, they have certain dependency on the SQL concepts. So in our course, in our Azure Data Engineer course, involves basically six different components, Data Factory and Data Bricks and Synapse and Cosmos 
data factory data bricks are into etl synapse and cosmos are more into storage and analytics and we require azure sql database and data lake as supporting components a total of seven weeks seven and a half month seven weeks course and you may opt for either live or live online training or on-demand video training you may start from the scratch sql basics from there you can get into azure data engineering or if you are already aware of sql server basics you would directly jump into the actual course coming to the curriculum the modules i was mentioning are divided the modules that includes adf adb synapse cosmos data lake storage stream analytics and blob storage including azure storage explorer these seven different components are blended carefully across three different verticals three different modules first module lasting for two and a half weeks azure data factory then comes azure data bricks for two weeks and two to two and a half weeks for cosmos database with end-to-end -end implementation you would be able to download this curriculum the excel file at the bottom of this video you would be receiving a link from where you can easily download this complete document and keep it handy during your actual classes and it's 100 percent practical real time concept wise faqs study material practice handouts and daily tasks with weekly revision part of this azure data engineering training program including job support resume guidance and dp200 201 certification guidance dp200 is more into implementation whereas 201 201 is more into data solution design of data solutions both are part of this course you may choose for either live or on demand or classroom and you would contact us for doubts clarifications if any before you'd sign up for the demo class with this information i promise you once again 100% practical approach on this Azure Data Engineering program. We shall look forward for your registration and demo attendance. Thank you very much. Have a nice time.